And here we are with the next episode of The Geek Out. And in this episode, we have episode nine. Nine episodes. And uh, we had a little bit of delay since uh, we had some technical issues last week, so we, we missed a week. Darn. But it's okay, because we're covering everything this week, plus uh, something new. But we got three topics today, and we have some familiar faces here. We have, uh, we have me. I'm the moderator. I'm James. I talk. Uh, we have the awesome Lauren. We have the awesome Robert. Waffle. And we have the awesome Kiefer. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> he agrees. And uh, we got three three uh, topics this week and uh, uh, covering uh, everything from video games to Black Friday. And to start off, I'm wearing my cool little hat here. This was uh, this is a handcrafted leather hat done by Mikey Designs, Mikey Zero Designs. You can check him out on Facebook. We'll put a link in the description, though. But this is pretty cool. It's Indiana Jones right here. If you want to cool anything leather, go check that out. But um, first topic here is going to be surrounding the, of course, the Xbox and the PlayStation launch and the success or unsuccess of such said launch. And uh, both of them launched uh, a couple weeks ago since uh, it was, was going to be the last week. But since last week, we mm, uh, had issues. Uh, so we're a little bit late on this one. But the uh, there were two days different. Uh, you know, one launched on the 10th, one launched on the 12th. And uh, first was Xbox, then was PlayStation 5, and they learned, learned some things from the launch of the Xbox. So some retailers like Walmart tweaked their launch process so that instead of launching everything all at once, Walmart broke it up into hours. And yet still, every single time one of those hours came up, it brought Walmart's website down, causing all of the shoppers to just see a, oh dear, something went wrong error page with a little Christmas deer on there. So... I don't really think too many consoles made it out there during the pre or during the actual launch. So I think you know pre-orders were like the best way to go. But to discuss this launch of both systems, we're going to do the roundtable as always. And for this, we're going to start with Kiefer. I thought the launch was interesting. I personally didn't even try to get one. Not a great idea. Uh, from what I've seen, also a lot of them, you know, dying. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for it. <laughs> but yeah, the launch didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. I didn't know what I was expecting, but I mean, I guess the online stores crashed, like you said, so that ain't great. What about you, Robert? Uh, well, I, I'm glad that new systems are coming out, which means new technology, which is cool. Me, personally, I would never buy the first uh, console. Uh, I've neither one of them, either like Xbox. I would wait till they kind of refined it. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, people want it, and they want the newest thing that's new and everything, but no, I would never buy a new one. But, yeah, I guess crashing is, means everybody wants one, which is cool. I, me, personally, I would just wait. Uh, wait till maybe uh, next year, maybe even uh, near June. I mean, for me, it's not so much the console, but the library. Um if there's not enough library to support the new console, whatever. And like I said, Xbox One is still going strong. You know, I mean, for me, my GTA and everything else. So I say patience is a virtue for both. Lauren? Oh, I I am waiting as well. I very rarely get technology right out the, right off the bat. It's just, I feel like I'm just asking for trouble if I do. You know, it's, there, there are always bugs to work out and, um, yeah, so I, I usually like to wait for a little while. Plus, I have so many games on my PlayStation 4 right now that I have to that I still need to, you know, still need to play through. What's, what's the point in getting another one at the moment when you know I I may not even touch it for the next six months? I'm trying to catch up with everything else I have. So, plus I feel like it would just be a you know an exercise in futility and frustration even if I had tried to get a, a you know a console right now. <laughs> <laughs> and there's enough going on in this world that is driving me crazy. You know that that is a source of frustration. That the last thing I need right now is to add to it. Um, what about you, James? I have no interest in buying them, but we uh, we covered that before in one of the uh, the episodes. That just uh, I can wait. And like you, I have way too many games piled up all over the place. I have dozens of games to catch up on, and I'll get to eventually. Yeah, you know, when I'm done adulting, I guess. And. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, it was a. It, I mean, I guess you can say it was a successful launch in terms of they couldn't keep them in stock anywhere's. Uh, but uh, 
the biggest issue that caused it to be unsuccessful is that I think this was, an, or not think, this was another round of uh, plus one for bots and negative points for human beings. Uh, bots just ruled the launch this time around for both consoles, and bots were gobbling up the inventory the moment they made it in to inventory on the website. And, you know, bots can respond within a matter of milliseconds where human beings have to click around and process things that they're seeing. And... Uh, I think that screwed it up for everybody. Uh, just like the video card launch for the RTX cards from NVIDIA, uh, bots just gobbled them all up, and nobody could get their hands on any. It's unfair, and uh, it, it kind of sucks for people who are really hoping to get their hands on a new console. So that had a major effect as well. So with all that traffic of the bots hitting the website as hard as possible, plus all the human beings in the world you know, trying to get their hands on the Xbox... Despite everybody, not everybody, but so many people being out of work, apparently, you know, dropping $500 is okay. It's more important than your mortgage. Duh. If it's going to be an Xbox or a PlayStation. <laughs> but but everybody was on it. Websites couldn't handle it. And even if they could, they nobody really had the inventory. I mean, as some of the retailers even said, they may not even have inventory to begin with. And if they did, it would be so minimal, <laughs> minuscule, compared to how many people are trying to rush to get them. So pre-orders were the way to go so keep that in mind for the next launch out there anytime the next a new generation console comes out always pre-order it if you absolutely have to have it asap if not wait it's cool let the rush go away and let all the bugs get worked out so that way when you get your hands on the console you don't have to worry about any of those headaches because who wants to drop 500 dollars on the console and then find out it's broke well then uh moving on to the next question uh this one is a little th this one's definitely geek and it is which superpower would you like to have for 30 minutes so and this this it's 30 minutes and so once 30 minutes is over you're done and then this the, the catch to that is once it's over you can never have it again now this might sound familiar with some of the books in the and the movies that have come out over the last decade uh there's been a couple that have sort of touched on this in ways uh but if it was you which superpower would you choose and for this we'll start with Robert. Okay. Well, for me, that'd be easy. Super, super intelligence. Um, with super intelligence for 30 minutes, I can maybe teach myself. I can develop an AI. I can develop a, a, develop a program that can teach myself more stuff after the 30 minutes is over. I'm just going with just super intelligence. So, after it's over, there's something that can help develop and improve me. Because if you go with strength or flying, you know, what, what are you going to do? I mean, once if you're strong, that's great. But you got 30 minutes after that, you're done. If you can fly, where are you going to go? Like if you went to Tahiti, you better be back before it's over or anything else. But with intelligence, you can actually create something, and then when it's over, you can go back to it if it's. I, I'm saying super intelligence. I think that's the, the best way to go. Uh, Kiefer? Me, personally, super intelligence is an idea, but I feel like if you come up with like brilliant theories and stuff that are so ahead of everyone else that um, you know no one else even understands them, then you're just going to get called crazy and all your theories are going to get thrown out for another 40, 50 years until someone's like, oh, yeah, that is right. And then, uh, But if you have something for 30 minutes, a uh, superpower... I would want to have, like, anything I touch turns to platinum for 30 minutes because you hear about Midas or something. You know, he touched someone and then, oh, they're dead. Oh, no, this is horrible. I can't eat. Everything I eat turns to gold. I mean, I cannot eat for 30 minutes. <laughs> I could, like, you know, get, like, a sheet of plastic or something, touch it, and then, look, it's platinum now. And then I could, you know, uh, turn a bunch of stuff into platinum. Then I could sell it to the government or something, make billions of dollars or whatever. <laughs> then I'm set for life. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think that's the most practical thing to do. What about you, Lauren? I actually, I really like Keeper's idea. That never even occurred to me. Um, for me, a lot of, almost every superpower is one that I want to have for more than 30 minutes. So it came down to what kind of like with Keeper's idea um, or Robert's idea. Um, it's, you know, what can I choose that will affect me for the rest of my life, even though I might not actually have the superpower for that long. So I was thinking of maybe, um, like regeneration or something like that. So like, you know, in case anything ever happened, 
or, you know, I got sick or, you know, I, you know, was disabled, um, that maybe I could have that for, you know, half an hour and, you know, basically, hopefully, you know, you know, get, get back to, you know, the way it should be, or even maybe in better shape and, um, or maybe at the end of my life, if I wanted to, you know, if it felt like it was too early, you know, I could regenerate and hopefully be around for another, you know, decade or so. So that's the one that I, I, I think I'd pick. So uh, what about you, James? Wow. Just another moment there. I, I love it. Um, wow. Mine uh, for, for Robert's idea, I, I, I don't think it, I mean, 30 minutes isn't enough to build an AI because you're going to give yourself 30 minutes of, of super intelligence. And you're going to be like, this is great. I'm going to crank out an AI. And then you're going to start typing everything out that's in your head. And you're going to realize, no, only if this superpower came with super typing. Because how fast can you possibly, with normal typing, crank out a whole artificial artificial intelligence system? And then you got to troubleshoot it and everything else. And it just, uh, it, that's a hit or miss right there. And although it's a good idea. Uh, and maybe you can come up with other things, you know, uh, who knows, maybe within 30 minutes, you can come up with a cure to cancer, you know, God bless you. All right. You know, a Kiefer, <laughs> awesome idea. Loved it. Uh, I, I mean, mine's kind of generic because it's just kind of like a go-to. I mean, mine's flying. It is flying. I, I mean, because if all I could do is it's, it's, it's do it for 30 minutes, can never do it again, I'm going to have to go with something generic, you know, something that I can sacrifice. And flying, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to go to Tahiti. I'm not going to I'm just going to jump around and fly around Vegas here and just goof around for half an hour, touch back on the ground and go, well, that was fun. I mean, get to do something that everybody's always wished they could do. And... Done. Check that off the bucket list. You know, if it was more than a half an hour, then I would definitely put into super intelligence and things like that, you know, because, well, heck, yeah, I could take advantage of that, you know, so give me a year's worth and I can get a lot accomplished with that. But a half an hour, I'd have to do something silly, except for I love Kiefer's idea. That's perfect because you can use that income to be able to come up with an idea to hire a bunch of people with super intelligence to build you a some kind of... Um, uh, what was the movie? The Rocketeer suit or something to help get around with, or just an Iron Man suit. But uh, and then I love Lauren's idea as well. Uh, that's good. I could use that actually because I got bad shoulders and stuff. It's just a half an hour to sit there and just meditate and heal up, and then walk away a new man. Hey, that's worth a half an hour. Sure, I'd do that. You know, I'd still be an idiot and probably choose flying though because I'm a guy, I'm a nerd, and if somebody said you only have 30 minutes, go. I'm gonna be like, uh, screw it, flying. Let's go. And off I go. But Kiefer's idea definitely takes the win. If we were voting, at least, my opinion, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then you can use the profit to hire a bunch of doctors to deal with afterwards, too. So that brings us... Uh, oh God, those are some good ideas right there. But that brings us to our third topic. And our third topic is definitely, of course, uh, in relevance to our current moment in time and uh, next week's activities. So that next question is... What would you be looking for this Black Friday? Duh, of course. I've got to ask that question. And uh, it, given this is the geek out, so it's going to be a focus on tech more than anything, you know. But if there's something else that's, you know, that you just really got your hopes up for, then you can throw it in there. But uh, for this, uh, it, you know, we're going to start with Lauren. Oh, well, I already took advantage of, um, I randomly ran across a really good Black Friday deal because my mom, who lives with me, she had asked me to get for a uh, ring doorbell for Christmas. So last night I uh, did some research. I just, all I had to do is Google, you know, Black Friday ring. And I came up with um, the website and it was $30 off for um, the brand new uh, upgraded ring two. So it's still not officially a ring three, but they redesigned the ring two uh, this year. So it's uh, like, I think it's uh, 1080 instead of the 720, which it was prior, and a couple of other little, you know, tweaks, and it ended up being, uh, for the ring, it ended up being 70 bucks, which is a pretty good deal for, for that doorbell. I've been keeping an eye out for it. And then, um, I'm a gamer, so I know PlayStation, uh, they just started their Black Friday, you know, sale, so I'll probably keep an eye out on that. And, um... Since I've actually, one of my hobbies has become uh, woodworking and, you know, fabrication of sorts. Uh, I'm a tool person. It turns out that they're very addictive. So I'll be keeping an eye out for uh, the Black Friday sales for that as well. 
So um, what about you, uh, Robert? Um, I would like to get a really cool uh, alarm system upgrade to my truck. And then I want to upgrade the sound system from cassette to USB. And then I want the bullet antenna to replace the standard antenna on my truck, which looks like a 50 caliber um, shell, which would be pretty cool. Um, a laptop, I guess, a SIG uh, Desert Storm would be nice. Silencer, Sandy Covered, custom case. Other than that, uh, yeah, mostly stuff for my truck. Alarms and everything else. Maybe a sweet paint job, so <laughs> if possible. Kiefer? <laughs> Me? I'm a little bit different. I uh, I am also partially a gamer, so... But retro stuff like the PS2 and the Xbox original that only have component adapters uh, for the Max uh, adapter that you can buy for them. So I want to get this thing called a GBS 8220, which is a component to VGA adapter, a component to RGB adapter. So then I can plug in uh, my new RGB CRT back there. I just got a new CRT monitor for five bucks from OfferUp, so I can finally plug in like my original Xbox and my PS2 and stuff to my uh, CRT, which is nice. So that's going to be fun. Plus, it also has a signal that uh, from the VGA port, it also has a direct signal to component. So you can get a VGA to component adapter as well and have a signal going to your CRT with component, which is nice. But um, it's only good if you get the Wi-Fi adapter and the clock timing thing to solder on so then it doesn't have the V-Sync issues and also it... Uh, can you can connect it to it via like a phone and add like effects, which is kind of cool. So I want to make a uh, like scan lines for the CRTs. It's kind of cool. So that's what I would want to find in Black Friday for a deal. What about you, James? Well, uh, for me, I I look at or I'm looking for. Well, I'm going to help Robert out in terms of finding him a cool laptop. That's going to be a that's that's like one of the highlights this year because I'm not looking to spend too much money. I've already spent a lot of money throughout the year and I am uh, I really the only highlight outside of like a bench vice for my garage, which I'm probably only going to find if I'm going to find a really good deal on one of those. One of those really, really good deals. That's probably going to be on Craigslist or offer up or something. So I'm not really I don't got my I don't, I don't have my hopes up for that. Uh, so really, the only thing that that leaves me with is the Samsung Smart Things Hub Gen 3. Uh, the I, I've been looking at getting one of those and converting from a Vera system over to smart things. Uh, and I've been waiting patiently over the last like three months or so for the price to drop. And of course it hasn't. I did miss a wonderful sell, which unfortunately uh, I didn't get the notification until like yesterday, but apparently like a week or more ago, uh, Kohl's of all places was getting rid of them out of their inventory. And uh, now this is a $60 hub. 60 to 70 dollars depends on where you buy it but uh they you know what Coles likes to do once in a while is if they if it's something electronic and they're just like you know what this isn't working for us we got to get rid of it out of our stores what they do is they discount it down and then sometimes when you go to ring up it's even less than what the discount is and everybody there's a certain farm community was just like oh my gosh go over to Coles now they discounted it to 27 dollars but check it out when you ring up what happens and people are like oh my gosh 16 dollars <laughs> I'm like, $16? I hit two Kohl's stores immediately, you know, and I'm like, all right, I got my mask on. I feel like, you know, a little makeshift hazmat situation going. I go in there. I'm like, all right, so I need one of these. And they're like, oh, yeah, dude, you missed that. That lasted like an hour. Oh, darn. Go to the other one. They're like, smart things what? (laughs) <laughs> you know, like, oh, that was that little thing. Yeah, yeah, that didn't last. We we sold out of those really quickly. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I wish I saw the notification for that sooner. I would have bought one or two even just to give away to some of the in, fa- in my family because, I mean, why not? But uh, that would have been such a good deal. But what I'm looking for is the second best deal, hopefully, that will be out there somewhere this time around. Or if Samsung, you just want to, if you see this video and you just want to send me a Christmas present, that'd be cool. I'll take a smart things up, please. But that's what I'm looking for. None of these, of course, companies or anything, you know, none of them have sponsored this video or anything like that. So there's no name. This isn't, there's no intentions of name drops or anything, except for, except for Mikey Zero Designs. <laughs> Because this is a really cool leather hat. I mean, he makes anything out of leather. I mean, you ask for it, and he can pretty much make it. He's he's the stitch lines and everything. He's pretty proud of his work. And uh, you can check it out. We'll put a link in there. That's a name drop. But that's only because we know that individual, and uh, they get an exception. So there you go. Uh, Black Friday. Oh, my gosh. It's just so many days away. Like, what, this many? 
hmm. yeah, that's that's going to be it's not going to be as rough this year since all the, the stores are closed. So, I mean, not all of them, but some of them are closing their doors. Like even Walmart, I think, is going to be closed. Uh, that's crazy. That's awesome. You know, so no no mobs. No one's going to die this year for Black Friday. That's going to set a record. <laughs> you know, first Black Friday in American history. No deaths recorded. But there you got it. Uh so we covered Xbox and the PlayStation launch. We have covered superpowers in the in the minimal time you can have them if you could only have them once, and of course Black Friday. So if you have any input out there, you the viewers, feel free to use the comment section down there and talk to us about it. Uh, give us some ideas of what you would like to have as a superpower for only thirty minutes if you can never have it again, and or your thoughts or complaints or or horror stories about the the console launches, and or Black Friday. So use those comments and, of course, give us some su suggestions for some future episodes. And we might actually include your idea in one of the upcoming episodes. So definitely uh, give us some ideas and maybe we'll talk about them. So use that comment section and subscribe because if you subscribe, you know, it makes us all feel better and makes us feel like, you know, maybe we'll do another video. Maybe it'll be in episode 10. You never know. Uh, subscriptions help. So definitely subscribe and follow. Share with all your friends. Post on Facebook and Twitter. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Yeah, just show the world our cool videos. And uh, give us some ideas, and we'll talk about them in one of the future apps. But thank you for watching. This is an awesome crew of people here. Again, I'm James, just the moderator. We got Lauren. We got Robert. We got Kiefer. We got the hat by Mikey Evans Designs. And we thank you for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Whoa, my video stream. <laughs>